Uh, wish you all the very best with your antenna project and uh, team. Uh, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Good to see the stations. There's a puppy Yankee. It's New Zealand talking to a puppy Yankee. Well, there you go. So um, this is just a, a quick update on how we're going with with this little rig. Um, the configuration at the moment is the RF is coming in here through a, a 20 meter bandpass filter, and then into a, a an a RF amplifier. It's a um, Casco J310 arrangement. So the two J310s there uh, with a little variable pot there to adjust the uh, the voltage on the gate. Um, that's providing measured around 21 dB gain. Uh, which is then feeding through the impedance matching into um, the NE612. Um, 2612, so this NE612 um, has got RF coming in through here and its VFO uh, input is coming from the uh, SI5351, which has been controlled from uh, the microcontroller here. Um, the spec sheet says that this needs to have between 200 and 300 millivolts peak to peak. Uh, VFO drive uh, and that all pot adjusts that there so it's currently set for 250 uh, millivolts. The output of that is then feeding through another pins matching there through the uh, crystal filter that's an old XF92A um, SSB uh, crystal filter the output of which again through impedance matching into the input of the second NE612. Uh, it's uh, BFO is coming from again the uh, clock 2 of the SI5351 again through the little trim pot there to adjust the amplitude the output of which is audio um, through the coupling uh, 10 microfarad uh, electrolytic there and then through to the audio amplifier via a small audio um, low pass filter there before going into the amplifier in the bush I'll shrink this right down because um, I'll be running this on uh, headphones uh, rather than having on the speaker. Right, so um, according to the spec sheet, uh, these little NE612s will be outputting about 13 um, dB gain uh, when running at uh, 7 volts, and that's what this uh, LM317 uh, voltage regulator here is doing, adjustable. So that's taking 12 volts, dropping it down to 7, which is driving just these two uh, NE612s. This one over here is a um, 7805, so it's outputting 5 volts, which is providing the VCC for the, uh, the SI5351 and uh, the screen and the microcontroller. Um, right, so like I say, yeah, about 13 um, dB gain through these, according to the spec sheet. And quite interesting enough, at the moment, this is quite an effective receiver with um, no external um, IF amplifiers, so just the RF amplifier coming in, the internal gain of those two mixes, and then into the, the audio amplifier, so it's got some gain there obviously. Um, so yeah, quite interesting, and really in this configuration there's no reason why I can't shrink this down to be quite a small package um, for taking out tramping. Um, I think next steps sort of to uh, I probably won't do much more on the receiver at this stage, and I might sort of just uh, launch into playing around with a bit of transmit. So um, through now these any six one twos have two inputs and two outputs. So the second input, which is currently um, earthed out through this one hundred nanofarad capacitor, um, I'll remove that, and then that'll become um, will become a microphone input from the mic amp, uh, and the output then. Um, this crystal filter, both both sides, will go into a small uh, bi-stable um, little relay um, to switch between um, output one or the input, depending on the out on the configuration of this. So you on transmit or receive, and same on the other side. Um, and the output, the second output of this mixer, um, which will be our transmit RF will then be fed off and we'll go through a power amplifier over here in due course. But um, So I think I might just sort of tinker around with that and uh, we'll keep playing but um, quite amazing uh, what you can get out of um, not a lot of components, you know, quite an effective, uh, quite an effective radio. Anyway, so uh, 73, so I won't uh, yabba dabber on too much. Um, what I will do is just quickly scoot on over here before shutting off and I apologise for the, um, the camera moving around a bit. 
but uh, that's the um, configuration on LT Spice of that Cascode uh, J310 amplifier. So you can see there, uh, that's the variable resistor there. It's a, it's a 20k pot, so it's just for the, for the sake of simplification and the um, simulation, it's just a 10k and 8.2k resistor through a 10k, um, uh, another 10k resistor through to the, the J310s. Again, there goes the impedance matching there. So roughly 2200 ohms here, and the NE612s, according to the spec sheets, uh, are 1500 ohms. So uh, that's just a, a quick rundown of the um, of that um, RF amplifier. The uh, the code itself uh, for this um, I can put up if people want it. Um, it's very similar to what was used on the um, the base rig I did uh, a little while ago. It's essentially the, um, a similar setup using the same crystal filter. So that the settings for the the BFO and the VFO um, are, are very similar. So anyway, I'll um, I'll finish there, 73s, and uh, I shall keep you posted as we continue. Thanks.